post-holiday weight worries for Dustin Bufflin. He's working up a sweat on the ice. Bufflin's ready to play and doesn't care about the controversy surrounding one of his teammates. I, I was scared. You know, I was first time in that situation. So uh, I didn't tell anybody. Only, only who knew what happened was my, uh, was my parents. Today was Andre Pavlik's first day back in Winnipeg after being convicted of a drunk driving charge back in the Czech Republic. He received a six-month suspended sentence and can't drive for 20 months. Just like Bufflin, fans watching at the Iceplex practice are more concerned about his on-ice performance than anything else. As a fan, I, I guess I don't put the guy on too much of a pedestal. Disappointment a little bit, I guess, but uh, because uh, when you got uh, you know young kids, you have to explain kind of what the deal is, I guess, as far as uh, from a role model standpoint. Tell everybody his story if he is, and uh, I think the best thing that would smooth everybody's mind and make everybody feel a little bit better as if he played really well. Pavlik has apologized and says he's ready to get down to work. You know, I just want to put it behind me and then uh, focus uh, why we're here. So, uh, yeah, that, that's my goal. The Jets will take on the Ottawa Senators at the MTS Centre for their first game of the condensed season on January 19th. For RRC-TV, I'm Amanda Thorstensen.